So we are working on grapes today. We picked um, 100 pounds of Concord grapes last night. And I'm gonna show you a couple clips of where we go and pick grapes. Oh yeah, I'm up on Oh, those ones white right above me and I couldn't even see them. right there by your arm. Oh, oh Um, our grape um, vines, ours are not mature enough yet to meet all our family's grape juice needs. And previously, before we found this vineyard where we can go pick Concord grapes, we just did without grape juice. Um, but since we found this vineyard, and as you can tell, the location is gorgeous, we have been able to pick grapes to our heart's content um, for a very economical price. It's definitely worth it. Now, the one thing, this um, vineyard and its Concord grapes have gotten so popular in our community that when he sends out the message that the Concord grapes are ready, um, you really need to go within the next couple days or there won't be any Concord grapes left. So what happens then is you end up having to, or you pick them, there's not very many very ripe grapes. So there's a lot of these light purple ones and they really don't release their um, juice as well when they're not as ripe. I like to get them when they're basically just falling off the stem and they're all really, really dark. So normally what I do is I go and pick about 100 pounds and that'll give us enough where we can have grape juice about once, once or twice a month for a year. And um, then I will go about a week or 10 days later and I'll get everything that people have left behind. And those grapes are nice and ripe. And they give me, I, with half the amount of grapes, I get just as much grape juice as I do when we pick them before they're exactly ripe. So eventually we will have enough grapes here on the homestead all on our own and then I won't have to worry about people um, picking them before I get some. So I'm washing the grapes and pulling them off the stem. And I've got them in a strainer and then I'm just pouring them into this dish and I am using a steam juicer um, to get my juice from the grapes and you actually don't have to pull the grapes from the stem when you use the steam juicer but my family likes it better when I do remove the grapes from the stems because when you leave the stems on they think it has more of an earthy the grape juice has more of an earthy flavor so that's why I take the time to pick all the grapes off of the stems before I put them into the steam juicer. So the steam juicer is ready for me to tap some juice out. So I'm gonna clean a jar. These jars have been washed and I'm just gonna 
sanitize it a little bit because the kids wash them. And I'm gonna put hot water in it to heat the jar up. Our tap water gets very, very hot. So I call that sanitize when I run that super hot tap water through my jar. So this is a steam juicer. There's water in here and the grapes are in here. And this part is what catches the juice. Um, so I keep the lid on tight so none of that steam goes away. And that steam causes the grapes to release all their juice. And this is actually a Canadian liter jar because <laughs> that's what I have left. I like to put my grape juice into two quart jars and then um, this will make a gallon of grape juice for us. So that's what the grapes look like. And I don't know, I'm gonna try and set up my camera so that you guys can see. So this is the part where the grapes are in. And then that's where the juice gathers. And that bottom part is just water. And these grapes are definitely done. So I better get busy washing another batch of grapes. Now I know some would use this grape pulp um, to make jellies and vinegars and things like that, but we just feed it to the pigs and they turn it into bacon for us. Okay, I'm still good on water. Growing up um, on the farm, we had a grape arbor that covered the walkway to the front entrance of our home. And my grandma also had a grape arbor and it was right outside her kitchen window. One of the things that I remember doing as a child, helping my grandma, she would take a paper lunch bag and she would cover every bunch of grapes with a paper lunch bag and then she'd take a stapler and staple it closed real tight. And this was so that the wasps couldn't get to the grapes. 
wasp and yellow jackets will actually eat the grapes and cause them to rot before they're ready because then they have blemishes and open spots where bacteria can enter in. So my job was, when I was little, was to hold the paper lunch bags for my grandma and hand her the stapler when she was ready. But then as I got older, it was my job to get up on the ladder and she would hand me the paper lunch bags and I would staple close the bags to prevent the wasp from getting them. Well, I'm still here, still canning grape juice. I'm almost done. This is day two, but I did take some time off yesterday. Um, I took the kids to the library and piano lessons in the afternoon, and we had church last night. Um, if not for those two things, I would have finished yesterday. And so far I have 30 quarts of juice. Um, which will make us about 15 gallons of grape juice this winter. And I'm still using the four jars lids. I have had fewer non-sealed jars this year than ever before, and I am giving four jars all the credit for that. And I'm gonna put my affiliate link in the description. So then, um, because this is hot, hot juice, I do not water bath these. I just put the hot juice in and I turn the lid tight and it'll seal all on its own because there's enough hot product in here to um, melt the rubber or soften the rubber on the lid and that will seal it down onto the rim of the jar as the grape juice cools. So it's just like jellies or jams when you do not water bath them. And all 15 of my half gallon jars have sealed so far. So this is what they look like when they've given all they've got to give. It's mostly just shells left in there. Better start cranking. Good idea. Not so time because there might pop in the lightning wheels over there. Yeah, because we're just making it. Can I let mom help? I'm taking it off. Okay, now wait, and then I shake it all around. Ready? Okay, now put more salt on it. And the eater, you got. 
got all the makeup. So now we're gonna make some grape juice. I'm adding two quarts of the juice that I just canned, which is actually concentrate. And then I'm gonna add half a cup of sugar. And then I'm gonna add the same amount of water as I have grape juice concentrate. Then 